The classic introduction to any Copenhagen visit is a canal boat ride. Since the word Copenhagen means Merchant's Harbor, it's only natural that many of the city's most impressive buildings, both new and old, are visible from the water. Harbor tour boats come and go constantly, giving visitors a relaxing glide down canals and along the harbor front. Colorful merchants' houses and historic bridges recall an affluence stoked by trade. Slotsholm and Island, the city's 12th century birthplace, is lined with grand 17th century Renaissance style buildings. And this part of the tour reminds us of Denmark's powerful seafaring past. While the town preserves its rich heritage, it's also building for the future. The harbor front, dotted with new landmarks, is a showcase for Danish architectural design. The Royal Library, nicknamed the Black Diamond, uses shiny black granite to make its impression. The striking playhouse, with its copper roof matching the city's famous spires, feels integrated into the community, open, inviting, and bringing the arts to the people. Just across the harbor, Copenhagen's Opera House is even bigger than it looks. Much of it is underground. And as if to proudly show off the newest part of Copenhagen, sightseeing boats venture further from the center for a peek at once run-down industrial zones that have taken on new life. Former industrial buildings are transformed into high-end offices and condos, creating a playful new skyline. Glass seems to be the construction material of choice. And the harbor's cover girl, the most photographed citizen of Copenhagen, is the Little Mermaid. In the much-loved Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, she saves the life of a shipwrecked prince and sets off on a futile quest to win his love. <laughs> 